Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you all are doing good. This is Veena. In this video, we will be learning about myocardial infarction, which is popularly known as heart attack. Well, so see, heart, our heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood containing oxygen and nutrients to our different parts of your body. If you can see this picture, right? The heart is pumping blood to the different parts of our body. Correct? So the main pumping chamber of our heart is the left ventricle. I hope you are able to see this diagram properly. So this is the left ventricle, which is the main chamber to pump the blood to the different parts of our body. Okay, so when this left ventricle contracts, it sends the oxygen-rich blood into our complete body through this large artery called as iota. So this is the largest artery. Okay, so what you call it as a iota. So through this iota, the blood will be pumped to the different parts of our body. So connected to this, right, you can see here, the another picture clearly tells you when it's left, uh, you know, the ventricle is contracting, that is pumping the blood through iota, the different parts of our body. Alright, see, connected to our iota, connected to this iota, right, in this diagram you can clearly see, this is the iota, right, the largest artery. So, to this iota, you have uh, arteries, these are also arteries, which are connected to this uh, biggest iota, which are called as coronary arteries. And these are the coronary arteries which will carry the oxygen rich blood right along with the nutrients to our heart muscles. See, I'll tell you one thing our heart can be called as a bank cashier. We can easily call, you know, narrate this heart to a bank cashier. Why I'm telling this is. You know, a bank cashier handles so much of money every day. But what he can use for himself is the only salary he gets. It's not similarly true for the heart. It handles so much of blood every minute, but it can use only that much which gets through coronary arteries. Right? See, you know, heart is also a what? Muscular organ. So, for its muscles to function properly, it needs oxygen. Right? Oxygen and nutrients. Right? So, how this will be supplied? This will be supplied through this coronary arteries. So, during heart attack, what happens? During heart attack, what happens is the blood flow through one of these coronary arteries. The blood flow through one of these coronary arteries may have been severely reduced or it could have been blocked. There are two chances. Either it could have been reduced or that it could have been completely blocked. So this reduced blood flow, why it has happened? It has happened because of the accumulation of a substance called as Block. If you can see here, this is a normal artery and this is uh, the artery with atherosclerosis. So what is this? I'll tell you. Uh, if you can see in the next diagram, you can make it very easily. So this is a normal artery and this is what you call it as a block. Okay, this is nothing but a block. Okay, so if this plug becomes disrupted, okay, if this plug becomes disrupted, what happens? You can see here, this is nothing but a plug which has, you know, which keeps on accumulating in the arteries, which is reducing or it is narrowing this blood vessel, correct? So if this plug becomes disrupted, you can see it is becoming more and it is disrupting this completely which might lead to the blood clot here you can see the blood clot is getting started correct so which might you know severely worsen this narrowing 
or it could lead to the complete stopping blood down this artery right see when it stops over here when it blocks this complete area it will not allow blood to flow down correct you are getting what is happening if this plaque keeps on accumulating and if it becomes worsen so a blockage right this blockage you can see when it starts creating you can see here the blood is not at all entering down this artery correct so this blockage it is clearly representing right so this area is becoming dead correct so this blockage in this coronary artery is it is preventing the oxygen and nutrients right in your blood from reaching that part of the heart supplied by the artery so as a result what happens as a result the heart muscle heart muscle of that area would die so damage to part of your heart muscle is only you call it as a heart attack or myocardial infarction or we also call it as mi clear yes so now we have different treatments for it your doctor may have recommended a procedure to help open the blockage and to improve the flow to the damaged area correct so what are those procedures number 1 So number one is the surgical procedure, which you call it as a coronary angioplasty. So what is this procedure? See, during a coronary angioplasty, what they'll do is a balloon tip catheter. You can see a balloon tip catheter. It inflates inside your blocked coronary artery. Okay, it helps to open it up. So this procedure. okay this procedure may have involved placing a stent something like this you can see here right they are trying to in the c they are trying to this is a stent right they are trying to involve a stent to help a uh, prop the artery open correct so this is usually a thin metal mesh if you can see here a very thin metal mesh it just acts as a scaffold or you may have a coronary artery bypass graft which is also called as cabbage okay so this cabbage is also a surgical procedure okay where the blocked areas of the coronary arteries right if you can see here so this is a blocked area right this is a blocked area so to this blocked areas of the coronary arteries they are bypassed right this is blocked hence what they are doing they are taking a connection from this and they are letting this to merge with this artery so that whatever the arteries are coming down the blockage it is it starts receiving the nutrients from this artery directly you are getting so either uh, like this the bypass they will be bypassing either veins or the other arteries from the body okay this is what happens in the coronary artery bypass graft which we call it as a cabbage okay yes so and actually before you leave the hospital your healthcare provider most likely prescribes several medications and those medications may include uh, this first one which is oral antiplatelet therapy okay so what it does is it helps okay it helps to prevent this platelets from sticking together and forming a new blood clots you are understanding so hence it prevents uh, the blockage of blood it allows the blood to flow very easily okay you can see here right these are all our platelets in which they are moving freely if they stick to each other what happens blood clotting will happen if blood clotting happens then it becomes difficult for the blood you know it it will not flow easily that's the reason they will be providing this antiplatelet therapy right yes so now in the second one you may also have received drugs called as beta blockers that help lower lower your heart rate and also blood pressure 
and also uh, drugs such as AC inhibitors are also called as ARBs or calcium channel blockers or so these also you know uh, they also work uh, to lower the heart rate okay and you may also be prescribed a statins along with the low fat diet why why because to lower your cholesterol so these drugs they actually work okay by reducing the amount of cholesterol which is made in your liver so this is how the statins are going to work and it is very much important to stay on your medications okay as prescribed by your physician and always remember do not go off your medication for any reason unless a healthcare professional has prescribed them lets you to go and i hope this video was useful do like subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on a bell icon thanks for watching jai hind